This is the new Mark II Slab Side Cobra, a car that looks just as amazing as a vintage one, but with all the modern underpinnings. It is built by a small California company called Superformance. For classic car fans, this new car might look familiar. It's a reproduction of the Shelby Cobra created in 1962. The original Cobras were designed by Carroll Shelby, who dared to put an American Ford V8 engine into a stylish British racing car body. He basically created what many consider to be a perfect sports car. And driving a classic Cobra means you can be as glamorous as Steve McQueen, Robert Redford, and Paul Newman when they drove their tiny roadsters along the coolest beaches of the 1960s and 70s. In short, these cars are icons. Superformance bought the official licensing rights from the Carroll Shelby estate so it could mimic every detail from the original car sold in the UK. Down to the right side turning indicators, tiny rear view and side mirrors, a hood that opens opposite the front, latch lock seat belts, and dozens of handmade knobs on the center console. And the seat backs and door are so small that it's easy and fun to slip in and out. This new old Cobra comes with a Ford V8 engine with 375 horsepower. What it doesn't have is power steering or power brakes. That means you really have to crank the steering wheel as you move around a curve. And you have to press the brakes for what feels like miles before the car comes to a complete stop. But that's a small price to pay for genuine, pure, unadulterated driving. It's something that's tough to get these days when even the sportiest cars are automatic everything. Plus, your arms and calves will be extra toned from all the pulling and shifting. The Cobra I drove cost $100,000, but its entry-level price is just under $70,000. So while I wouldn't buy this as a first car, it's perfect to keep on hand for after hours fun. Superformance says they have built and sold about 4,000 Cobras since starting production a few years ago, and delivery time is about four months. So I suggest you get your name on the list stat.